possibly holding back from you. There's just conflict. And it feels like it's conflict between you and more than one person. But it's very contradicting because at the bottom of the deck is the sun card. So I feel like all you want is to be happy. With the magician in the heart of your reading, you're trying to manifest this happiness possibly. <laughs> Hey Taurus and welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the Pure, the Black, and the Magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe, you like the content, and you decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel. You guys is always greatly appreciated. So mid-monthly, we're going to see what's going on with you for the next two weeks, the last two weeks of September. Um, it is very general, so please keep that in mind that the entire message might not resonate with you. Just take what does, leave what does not for the next person. Um, I am available for private readings, so if you are interested in booking a private reading experience with me, check out the description box below. All the details are there in regards to how to schedule. But if you like this video, go ahead and like the video, okay? Make sure you subscribe, you turn on your notification bell. I want to see if I want to take all these cards. I'll take them. Um, turn on your notification bell, comment, I comment back. The more you interact here with the content on the channel, the more it puts your energy into these messages and I can connect with you, pick up on what's going on with you. So it's like a bunch that kind of came out here, but before I get started, I'm going to flip them over. Um, the song I got for you guys for the next two weeks is Damage by Her. So you could be feeling, I really got like vulnerability. You could be feeling very vulnerable the next two weeks. Um sensitivity sensitive vulnerability damage i don't know if you're feeling damaged or you someone in your environment is feeling that way but just very vulnerable like someone you might feel as if your heart is is in someone's hands or someone has some sort of hold on you or control over you um but yeah it's a little bit it's emotional it's in your feelings so let's see what comes out here also something about being uncomfortable like you feeling very uncomfortable the next two weeks so maybe that's the vulnerability you're feeling it makes you feel very uncomfortable i don't know if you're wanting to be vulnerable around someone or Whatever's going on with you, you're just very sensitive at this time, okay? So the first one that popped out is respectfully. Now with this energy, this is this was created with the intention of you signing off on something or something being over or some sort of closure here. So some of you guys could be seeking closure or wanting closure in the situation. We also have hydrate. We have soon. Um, we have my tornado card here. So I feel like this is how you're feeling emotionally, or there's just a lot going on in your energy around you within you these next two weeks of September. We got real feels here. Okay. We got who cares. It feels like you are in this energy of back and forth. So like an emotional roller coaster tornado here. It's like you really have feelings or emotions for something or someone. Of course, that song is, you know, related to a romance. Um, but with real fears and then real feels and then who cares, it's kind of like you are flip-flopping between really caring and not caring in the situation. Um, and I said real fears accidentally. So maybe you're, you're scared or you're fearful or there's something about feeling vulnerable here. You got the divine feminine. So it could be in regards to a divine feminine um, or you could be the divine feminine. But we have temporary. Also, we have my family gotten away like y'all had a bunch of cars just kind of pop out here. And I feel like that's your energy just kind of um, just all over the place, like maybe impulsive or you just don't know how to feel. We also have new job, car, and home. So there's a lot of change taking place in your life at this time. Explore your options, okay? There's a lot on your mind. <laughs> As I say that, I see this card. So my thought process card, and we have playing the victim, okay? So you or someone else could be playing a victim in a situation. Um, we also have sabotage showing up here at the bottom of the deck. And behind that, we have spider web. So there's a lot going on in your life right now. Um, I'm also kind of filling up on like a, a soaking type energy. Like if this is you playing a victim, kind of like feeling sorry for yourself or feeling hopeless or sorry in the situation is what I'm picking up on. But we're going to go ahead and dive into the tarot. See what's going on with you guys. What has you in this like, this slump is kind of what it feels like. Or I don't know. It's just like fear here. Like you're scared of being hurt. At the bottom of the deck, we got the tower card, okay? So off the bat, tower card energy. And this is exactly what I just explained 
in these pre-messages here. So your life is like a tower. Things could be hitting a fan, exposure. Um, something could be happening very abruptly as well. Behind the tower card, we also have the five of swords and we have the king of pentacles here. Um, your finances could be affected here. There's something about um, like a struggle or some sort of competition or it feels like a fight. Like you're feeling like you have to fight in a situation or your defenses are up or you're on guard. Um, you could be harvesting some sort of like resentment here as well. It could be towards another, um, towards Virgo or Capricorn with this King of Pentacles here. Two of Wands, Ace of Wands. It's like you're trying to figure out life, Taurus. So let's see. I'm seeing the strength card here. All right, Leo Virgo energy, but trying to find the strength in the situation. Now we have the hangman, but still feeling stagnant, still feeling stuck as if you can't move forward. World card, it's like a new cycle. Things feel very new, but it feels very um, maybe forced or unexpected for you guys. We also have the queen of pentacles now showing up here. So yeah, you could be dealing with another Taurus or a Virgo or a Capricorn. Four of Pentacles. It's like it's something you're trying to hold on to. Or again, with that Four of Pentacles, you could be struggling a bit financially um, these next two weeks here or trying to hold on to some sort of money. Yeah, Seven of Cups just popped over, which is about illusions really being in your head, a lack of clarity. We got the Queen of Cups that fell out with the Strength card is again. So Queen of Cups, there could be a feminine energy here. Um that you're confused about it could be a cancer pisces or scorpio or someone who's just very motherly and nurturing here high priestess with that queen of cups this person could be very um empathic or very intuitive as well page of wands so maybe there's somebody that you're looking to hear from here or you're wanting to hear some good news in regards to a situation maybe in regards to a cancer or a mother figure here so let's see it's almost like maybe you're waiting on something um, and you're, you're feeling vulnerable for some reason, though. Spirit, what do we have for my Taurus the next two weeks? Again, you guys, please like the video if you have made it this far. It helps the channel out tremendously. Okay, so at the bottom of the card, we got the sun card here. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we got the sun card. So this is Leo or Virgo energy for me. Um, but this is the happiest card in the deck. It's about enlightenment. It's about... Um, some sort of a reveal here. Of course, it's about happiness. But now, Taurus, this could be you or this could be someone that you're focused on the next two weeks because we have the Divine Feminine card come out here and this is a feminine energy that's here. So maybe you're viewing somebody as your happiness. All right, this person could have children or you could have children maybe with this person. We have Page of Cups and we have Four of Swords, okay? So Page of Cups is usually the beginning or wanting to start anew here or the idea um, in regards to something that brings you emotional fulfillment or love. But with the Four of Swords, it's like there's a start with the page and then there's a stop with the Four of Swords, like a being stuck or um, or not like cooperating or not moving forward in a situation, not talking, not opening up here. OK, and then we have the Four of Cups right behind the Four of Swords. So I feel like in, in regards to communication and your emotions or communicating your emotions here, you are feeling very stuck or you're thinking a lot. Maybe you're overthinking, you're contemplating on a situation. Then right after that, we have another page, the page of pentacles. So it feels like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place here, Taurus. To be honest, the next two weeks, we have the two of swords and the three of swords right behind that. Um, five of swords energy conflict here, just like the five of swords I saw at the beginning. So and which fulfillment. It's almost like you're losing hope or you've lost hope or something's... Um, I'm really getting the energy of, I don't know if some of you guys have pets or a dog, but like almost like, like your dog just died. Okay. And I'm using it as a figure of speech, but hopefully that's not the case for real, but that's how your mood is. The first card I just flipped over is the seven of swords here. So this is of course, deceptive energy, something being done in the dark, something that's hidden, possibly lies, secrets. We'll see what else comes out. We got the justice card. Okay. So Libra energy. All right. Right now we have heavy air. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then the five of swords just came right back out. So all we have on the board right now is air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, you could be dealing with one of those signs. You could have one of those signs highly aspected in your chart. But overall, there's a lot of mental energy going on here, like a lot of thoughts. You may be thinking someone is being deceptive towards you. Um... 
There's something about fighting for justice here or secretly fighting for justice here. Okay, let's see what else. The damn Page of Swords. Okay, so yeah, Page of Swords with the Seven of Swords gives you Eight of Swords energy here. You're on defense. So just like the song Damage, this could be a lover or a friend. There's someone that you're thinking about heavily or a situation you're overthinking about here. You're on guard, like you're watching this person or you're watching out for this situation. You're not really saying much. You're in the shadows. You're very secretive, I feel like, in the sense of not really opening up and expressing yourself. But I feel as if you feel as if someone else is being deceitful towards you as well. So again, you're very on guard. This is resentful energy I'm picking up on too. And if this is not you, this is someone in regards to you. It could be a Libra since we have the Justice card here as a major arcana. Now we got the Magician card here. So Gemini, Virgo energy. Magician in the heart of your reading. For some of you guys, there's a Libra that's causing conflict in your environment and your situation with this Magician card pointing up here. Um, or you're fighting with a Libra or maybe the legal system with this Justice card. Maybe you're having issues um, with the legal system or some sort of contract or something like that. Okay, what else, Spirit? Yeah, four of pentacles. It's like you're desperately trying to hold on to something or hold back from something. Um, somebody could be like provoking you. Something is irritating you or is getting on your nerves um, or someone here. And again, with this four of pentacles, there could be some sort of money issues. Are you trying to hold on to money or trying to hold on or hold back from something here? What else, spirit? Okay, so we got the knight of cups. Seven of swords, page of swords, knight of cups. Um, something about sneaking or sneaking away. You could feel as if someone is getting away from you, something or someone is getting away from you or someone is maybe just, you don't know. They're a little too quiet. So maybe your mind is overthinking the situation and you're automatically just thinking like deception or this person is doing something against you or something like that. But with the Knight of Cups, it's like you want to move, you want to offer this person, this person something, you want to move towards them with the Knight energy. Um, possibly an apology or a cup of love like you want to kind of like white flag energy kind of like you know surrender sort of speak here but let's see what else queen of pentacles okay so it could be another Taurus Virgo Capricorn here with this knight of cups going into the queen of pentacles um and this could be anybody this is a feminine energy okay and we did have divine feminine pop out here we also have justice magician and the queen of pentacles um so it could, something's causing conflict because this magician is pointing up to this five of swords energy and this is a fight. This is a battlefield. This is being on guard. This is survival of the fittest, doing anything and everything to win type energy. Um, maybe you're trying to find a resolution here with a queen of pentacles um, and a Libra possibly. It feels like it's like two different energies here and it's causing conflict or two different people in your life that's not meshing well together or is clashing, okay? And then the last damn card of the spread is the Nine of Wands. So this is defensive energy. This is someone who's been through a lot, okay? Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, all of the above or, you know, one or a couple of, you know, the options. But you're very defensive. Look at this. So four of pentacles with the nine of wands. Look at this. And the um the five of the five of swords. This is all in one. This is all in one row for you guys. So what is it here? Like you feel like you really have to just very, very defensive and guarded and like almost fighting for your life or this queen of pentacles could be defensive towards you, or maybe you don't know how to approach this person or the situation here it's like you're trying to hold on to a situation or a person but they could be possibly holding back from you there's just conflict and it feels like it's conflict between you and more than one person but it's very contradicting because at the bottom of the deck is the sun card so i feel like all you want is to be happy with the magician in the heart of your reading you're trying to manifest this happiness possibly just within yourself or with somebody here um but again, it feels like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place because even though this is the focus and the magician card, that's what you want to do. Every card around you is very like almost like karmic and competitive and conflicting here. OK, so I kind of want to see what this seven of swords is for you guys. I don't want this reading to be too long. We're already 14 minutes in. What's the seven of swords for my Tauruses? 
All right, so we got the Tower card that just flipped over. Tower energy with the King of Wands and the High Priestess. Um, possibly feeling conflicted. There's some sort of um, disturbance here between you and someone else. Let's see. Spirit, what is the Seven of Swords for my Tauruses for the next two weeks? All right, so we got the Page of Pentacles. We got the Three of Wands. Like you're waiting on someone or waiting to hear from someone or waiting for like this new start. Again, it could be an Earth sign because we have the Page of Pentacles. Could be a Fire sign because we got the Wands here. So um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What else is this Seven of Swords spirit for my Taurus? And then we got the World card here. If, I feel like this Seven of Swords is like deception on your part or some sort of sabotage on your part in regards to like thinking the worst or thinking maybe you're just not being patient in the situation or you've lost patience or something is keeping you waiting. But there's a new cycle that you want here and it feels like you're just waiting on it. So maybe you feel like you're deceiving yourself, like you're giving up hope. Maybe you shouldn't, you know, have hope the best for the situation. Yeah, we got the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, but it's in the reverse. So there's some sort of lack of reciprocity or balance here that you're seeking. What's this Justice card, Spirit, for my Tauruses? What's this Justice card? You're seeking justice in the situation. It's almost like you're wanting to fight for what's right here, but for some reason, you it's, it's a blockage. So the Justice card, you have the Five of Swords. You have the Hermit and you have the Chariot card. So whatever this Justice card is for you, um, it could be a person. So it could be a Libra, whatever it is, or whatever you're wanting to bring justice to, or whatever you feel as if there's an injustice regarding the Five of Swords again, twice now. Um, fives could be significant for you. If this is a person, it's like this Libra is really in your ear or getting on your nerves. Um, we got the Hermit card and we got the Chariot card here. So Virgo and Cancer energy. Um, you could be dealing with one of those energies or you could be wanting to like isolate yourself and move forward or get away from whatever this, um, whoever's in your ear, whatever's bugging you, whatever's frustrating you at this time. Then we got the Moon card at the bottom of the deck, but it's in the reverse here. Um, something about the moon card in reverse is giving me sun card energy so you're wanting to like bring something to the light here what is this five of swords what is this five of swords from my taurus spirit okay so we got the queen of swords we got the ace of swords hella swords in your in your message and we got the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck what else is this five of swords spirit four of wands okay so you could be fighting for a relationship or a home dynamic with this four of wands. Um, or you're feeling res resentful towards somebody maybe you're in a relationship with or you were. This queen of swords energy, Libra again. It's just hella like Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here. Um, and then the damn justice card at the bottom of the deck. It's, I don't know. You guys have to be dealing with a Libra or a Libra is taking over your energy. It's almost like an overbearing, overwhelming um, person here that's affecting your mental, your physical, your emotional here. King of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and the, the Empress card. So yeah, I just keep getting Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and then Libra again with the Empress um, and Taurus energy, your own energy here. So this could be a mother figure as well. Somebody's affecting like the ba something that you want to do. It's like you can't do it, but it's because of someone else is what I'm kind of picking up on. So let's see. We got time to go already at the bottom of the deck here. Never ending story. So you're ready to leave a situation. You're ready to move or just move on in general. I do see higher power spirit. What do we have as advice? We have the fates. What advice do we have for my Tauruses for these last two weeks in regards to this message? We have clean it up. Okay, so maybe you're wanting to clean up a situation with someone or you just want things to be smooth. Yeah, with the poised energy, you just want things to be simple. Um, but you're having a hard time manifesting with the magician in the heart of the reading. You're having a hard time manifesting whatever this happiness, this sun card is. What advice do we have for my Tauruses here? And we're going to close it out. What advice do we have for my Tauruses for the next two weeks here? Wisdom cards. We got community and we got deep knowing. Okay, so community, family is what I'm picking up on, especially with this because it's almost like a, um, a parent and a child here. So something about family. We also have deep knowing. Okay, so there's like a gut feeling. Something's bothering you about a family situation or a child. We have chop wood. Maybe you're feeling like something is over here. We also have truth be told in the reverse. 
Um, so maybe there was some sort of lies or deception or lack of truth here that ended a situation, possibly a family situation. Let's try to get one more, a couple more for my Taurus's spirit. I hate to like leave y'all hanging, but the energy is so um, discombobulated, so all over the place. So we got building blocks here. We also have co-create by the book and building blocks. Deep knowing, you know something is right here. Like deep down in your gut, your intuition is telling you to do something. But it's almost like you're going against the grain. You're going against whatever, whoever could be in your ear, this other energy. Libra very heavily is affecting you. Um, or maybe, you know, going into Libra season, something about that as well. But deep knowing, it's like, you know, you need to move forward and work with or co-create. It's something about a family here or children here, building blocks, but someone or something is blocking you. Yang energy at the bottom of the deck. So this is about taking control or needing to take control in a situation. I feel like that's exactly what you guys need to do. Cause right now it's almost like other energies or people, it's just a lot that's pulling you. So you need to find a way to ground yourself. Okay, Taurus. So I'm going to leave it here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel and I will see you.